guys what's up so today i'm just gonna show you a normal video you can install twrp recovery as well the uh, other problem that uh, most people are struggling with is the fact that they can't install apps from play store you know like i've said here yeah, youtube and i don't see youtube anywhere yeah so i i actually wonder how you can fix it it is actually surprisingly a easy fix but let me show you how you can do that so the first thing that you're going to have to do is to make sure if you want to install any newer apps on your tablet, just make sure you can go to software update and you just say update to check for updates. If it shows you the message, uh, the latest update has already been installed, then, then you have to install a custom uh, ROM on this tablet, but I will show you how you can do that. So you want to go into settings and go to about device, then you're going to have to search for the model number. This is going to be quite important in order if you want to install custom recovery because you're going to have to search for this uh, specific model number on the internet. So um, this tablet's model number is SMT561 and you also the next step is actually very important so you want to go and tap a few times on bottle um, um, bolt number and it will bring you this option that's saying developer options then it will bring you this um, lots of settings that you can configure so next uh, thing you want to do is enable USB debugging uh, click OK then you also want to search for OEM unlocking that is quite important because on newer tablets, uh, not like this one, but on newer tablets, it's going to be important to enable o OEM unlocking. So let's move on to the next step. So basically, um, what you're going to have to do is uh, the, type in the model number right here and you're going to search for TWRP because that is the bootloader you're going to have to use to install the custom ROM on. So click on the website that says TWRP.me, then you click on that. And if this model number is correct, then you're cool. Then you go to download links and then you download the image.tar. Then it will show you this, then you just download it. So the next thing is to get the Samsung USB drivers. Um, so you just type in Samsung USB drivers, then you search for uh, the websites.developer.samsung.com. Then you type and uh, click on that then it will prompt uh, give you this um, link then you just click on that it will say uh, this device can um, this file can arm your uh, computer just say keep then it will de uh, download the drivers for the usb drivers so basically the next step is to download the lineage OS uh, zap file i will um, put a link down in the description but let's say you are using another uh, different device um, I'm gonna say it's like S4 Lineage OS uh, 14 it's a, just a quick example then you can just search for the device as well with the TWRP you can have to search for your model number and search on TWRP specific for your model number so Lineage OS 14.1 is Android 7.1.2 so you're gonna search for um, open um, gaps open google apps uh, for uh, for android um, 7.1.2 so i will quickly just type that in okay so after you type in open uh, google apps android 7.1.2 then you go to the open uh, google apps uh, folder then you just search for the android 7.1 then i would uh, suggest using the uh, pico uh, one then you just select the download button then you go download it so yeah as you can see there it is downloading that so yeah uh, the very very last step is to get uh, Odin free okay so I've, I, I will um, put the link down in the description for Odin um, then you just uh, click on that link I put down, down in the description you just select Odin 3.1.3 then it will prompt you with lots of things but yeah then you have to um, let me search yeah so 13.3 13.3 you just click on download yeah just like that so now that you have downloaded all of these files as you can see right here 
So the uh, very next thing that you're going to have to do is down um, install the USB drivers for the um, Samsung devices. As you can see, it is installing right now, but it will be done soon. So after the installation, you uh, you will want to go into Odin Free. Um, you're gonna have to use WinRAR to um, it, to can open the file. Uh, just click on um, that file, and then you just click on Odin Free Executive. Just click OK. Take a uh, micro USB cable or any cable your device you use your device to charge it. Then you, you plug in your device into the computer. As you can see, it shows added. So you're good to go right now because we're going to have to go into download mode and I will show you, show you how you can do that. Just quickly power off your device and just wait until it vibrates uh, to show if it has been um, powered off. So you will see there's a power button, a volume down button and you also have a home button. You're going to have to press these three buttons at the same time. So let's do that. I'm actually holding my phone to record, so um, it's going to be quite difficult. Let's do that. Uh, let's do that. Let's go. Yeah, now change the screen. Then um, you just click on, um, so volume up is to continue. So we're going to press volume up. Now it's showing you the download screen. Okay, so um, we are now in Odin. So all that you're going to have to do is click on AP. Then you're going to search for your file where all your um, device um, downloads is located. Select the TWRP uh, image file, then just click open. So now that we have um, at the AP file, then we gonna, you can see it, it is now. And just make sure the USB cable isn't wiggling around when we press start. What you're going to have to do now is just press start on your screen. As you can see, it is now starting. It show, would show something like that. The device has been restarted after I uh, clicked the start button on Odin. Uh, on other devices, it may might have taken longer. But when the device has been restarted um, and it logged in to your locked screen, uh, just uh, power off the device and then I will show you what you can do the next. After you've done something like that, let me just rotate it. You will see it showed that download screen with that progress bar, then it just went away and it restarted. That's fine. All what you're gonna have to do is press the uh, power button, the volume up button, and the home button. So let me do, go and do that. Just press it firmly. Just hold it, hold it. Okay, so you can see. TWRP has been installed. It's a great sign now. Let me show you how you can move on. We are in TWRP. Just swipe um, to allow modifications and you're going to click on wipe. Then you're going to say advanced wipe. So we're going to have to wipe some data on this deep tablet. So it is this one, uh, the system, the data, and the internal storage. Then you're just going to sw uh, swipe to wipe. Just wait it for the letters uh, stuff wipe. Then it says click back. Don't don't click on restart right now. So just click on back. Then you're gonna have to plug into your computer with this micro USB. Hey guys. So after you plug into your tablet into your computer, it will show up on your um, this PC right there. There's your tablet. Just go to your files that you have been downloaded. It's the Lineage OS one and the Open Gaps one. Just select, um, select them, con uh, copy them, and then go to your tablet internal storage. Press Control V. Then let it copy. Okay. So after it it has been copied, you will see these two files. So you're good to go. Let's move back to the tablet. Actually, now unplug your tablet. We actually has been uh, factory resetted everything. Um, let's move the tablet right here. Swipe to unlock. Okay, then we go to install. You will see there are two files we have been copied over, has been copied over. Then you just uh, swipe to confirm flash. Then it will um, automatically start to install the custom ROM you originally wanted on this tablet. So let's wait a while for it to install.
Okay, so if it shows you it is successful, then it is good. Just click on the back button, then you can have to install your open gaps. Let's quickly do that. Just swipe to flash, then it will open uh, install the open Google apps like Play Store or all of these kinds of stuff onto your tablet. Let's just wait for it. Cool, cool, cool. So the Google Apps has been installed. It, as you can see, the install app has been successfully installed. So you're basically now finished. Congrats. Let's reboot the system. Now your tablet will re uh, restart into um, restart. Yeah. Then it will show you that little thingy that that basically means you have installed a fully custom ROM on your tablet. As you can see. It is taking uh, quite a while, but just be patient. It will be done anytime soon. Awesome, awesome. So Linux OS has been installed, so you you can be happy right now. You don't have to be, uh, stress right now. It's good now. So yeah, let's quickly do a quick setup and yeah. Yes, it's just quickly doing updates. Um, yeah, just um, leave it for a while. It is going to take also a while. I don't know why it's Google services and stuff that is you know, doing that. So as you can see, it's showing YouTube right there as an option. So basically, everything is now done. So yeah, the tablet is now completely finished and everything is working. If you're um, having any issues or problems, just make sure you leave a comment um, down below. Then I will um, help you out. And yeah, just as always, thank you for watching.